so people have been handed over a weight to carry that they don't have the capacity to carry people are asked to live a sinless life in the flesh in this body so they make effort they make effort they make effort they make effort but how long can you make effort without defaulting so when they default it cancels everything so people get frustrated trying to live the life that they don't have the wherewithal to live because of a wrong teaching that has been communicated to the body of Christ called sinless perfection. So because of wrong teaching and wrong doctrine in the area of sanctification and in the area of righteousness and in the area of holiness, therefore the heart of people is condemning them. That's where the problem is. It's a problem of wrong doctrine. It's a problem of error. It's a problem of wrong teaching. And, and most of those teachings are coming out of morality. Morality is not spirituality. And spirituality is not morality. So people are struggling to meet up with a standard that they are not equipped to meet up with. And they are not meeting up so... They are frustrated but in order for them to belong they turn into hypocrites and that's why jesus kept calling the pharisees and the sadducees ye hypocrites ye hypocrites because the pharisees and the sadducees were religious leaders who thought that by their good works they have attained the righteousness of god and jesus looked at them and called them hypocrites in fact, he called them whitewashed sepulchers. Where the outside is stainless, but the inside is rotten bones. Whitewashed sepulchers. In fact, in the attempt to operate this doctrine in the church, that is what leads people to making the sanctification an outward exercise don't wear earring don't wear you know uh, necklace don't wear jewelry don't wear this wear that don't wear that so they have reduced god to an outward appearance and it is called false holiness what is it called false they've been ignorant of the righteousness of god go about establishing their own righteousness which is not to be measured with the righteousness of God. my prayer for them is that they may be saved say that they may be saved for i bear them record that they have a zeal of god but not according to knowledge they have a show of will worship but not according to knowledge so what do they do they go about setting up salvation shops and noisily they are hawking their wares across the street spreading rumors that about what they think god should be not even what he is what he should be they are the ones that are trying to actually set the standard for what they think and how they think God ought to be. So people are grappling with all kinds of things that lack substance. Yeah. They, they chase the shadows. Religion is wicked. Very wicked. That's why Jesus and those religious zealots never had anything in common. They were fighting all the time. Hallelujah. Teaching good this morning. So therefore, what is God's prescription? And what is God's cure for sin? Righteousness. Righteousness. It's not sinlessness. It's not sinlessness. The cure for sin is righteousness. It's not sinlessness. 
and that is why the doctrine of righteousness and the doctrine of sanctification must be thoroughly taught in the church